Well, can disc brakes be made better? Well, they surely can. And I was looking at the comments in my video where Gary Blim makes some comments, who's a pro mechanic, which is Chris Froome's personal mechanic. And there was a lot of people having different opinions and there was the opinion that uh, disc brakes are fine and 99% of people are buying disc brakes and no one has problems with it. And then there's the other people who say, no, nah, rim brakes, I've had disc brakes, I've gone back to rim brakes. Disc brakes keep tinging all the time. They're nothing but problems, they stick. The mechanics can't get them to work properly. So there is some conflicting information out there, but from my uh, perspective, they're both true. And why I say that is that the reason why disc brakes give problems is not so much because of the disc and the caliper and the group set, the group set designed to work the disc brake. It's because bikes are made with a number of different components and sometimes those components are actually made by different companies. And the problem is for a disc brake system to work, it's like a press fit bottom bracket. The housing that that goes into needs to be made very accurate. So the disc brake, everything it connects to, like the hub and the frame, needs to be made very accurate. Otherwise, they won't work properly. So it's not so much the disc brake, but it's what they bolt it to that has a big influence on how well that system performs. So let's roll the intro and let's have a bit of a look at why that is the case. Now, whether people want to admit it or not, it's been pretty well documented over many, many years by a number of cycling channels that the quality, especially of the frames, is pretty mediocre. And in some cases, they're completely outside the specifications of the bearings or of the design that uh, the, the interference fit that the bearings get pressed into to make the, the bottom brackets work correctly. And if you watch someone like Hambini, he's quoting something like about 15 watts can be lost due to misalignment of those bearings, which is quite significant because a lot of people spend a hell of a lot of money to get 15 watts. So why is this becoming a problem now with disc brakes? Because the problem is, is that disc brakes yeah, I think that they could be made a little bit better. We could increase the disc size. And I think the 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 geared up leverage, the hydraulic leverage is a little bit too strong. I know it makes it feel very nice, like you can just get your little pinky and you can just brake. But I think that uh, in panic braking, that it becomes more of a hindrance than an aid. And I think that if they made the disc bigger, which would mean they wouldn't need to have as much leverage, it would, they could have more movement to before the brakes start to lock the front wheel, then they would probably be a little bit, a little bit safer for the average user that, they may, that may be panic brake. So where are we with the components? Now, it's been pretty well documented that, and not only documented, my local bike shop, the owner basically told me straight out that they had to buy a whole set of facing tools when they started building disc brake bikes because the surfaces from the frames are not accurate enough. So when they get the bike to build, you can't just build it. They have to go through and make sure that all of the places where the, the wheel through axles go, all of the places the calipers go on, all need to be faced so the alignment is correct. So when you're riding the bike, that everything lines up. It's not twisted or it's in the, not an angle or there's not some point, sharp point or high point that's rubbing, that's making the, the system move or not, not sit perfectly perpendicular to each other. And what that does is it causes all of these little inaccuracies, which then when you get to the end of the disc and the calipers, it, crea it causes them to rub and you've got the disc trying to align and it's at an angle, it just doesn't work. So they need to go through this process when they build the bike from brand new. So it creates a lot more work for the mechanics. And there is a few mechanics that are in the comments or in our community, and they basically keep saying, disc brakes are job security. So they are a lot more work. There's no getting around that. Okay, out on the road, you may like them, may like the feel of them, but they are an increased expense and more difficult to build the bikes, especially with the quality control. 
that's in the bicycle industry. So in conclusion, can disc brakes be fixed? They certainly can, and they can be made better. Now, the brakes themselves, probably the disc could be a bit bigger, and that's to dissipate heat for long downhills to the descents, and they just need to, then that would allow them to have the more movement at the caliper because they haven't got the, the, the hydraulic leverage so dramatic because the bigger you make that disc, the less pressure you need to create the same braking. So they could do that. But then, of course, the disc brake is not as aero. It adds more weight. And, of course, on a road racing bike, that's not a preferred thing. So, yes, it's one of those challenges the manufacturers can come to. But the real issue with disc brakes for everyday riders, not for someone who's hammering down a massive mountain and they're overheating, with all the just uh, the little annoyances you have with these brakes, is they need to get the quality control better. They need to ensure that when that frame, that bicycle frame comes out of the factory, it's finished. You know, there's no paint bits on it. All of them, all the places that are going to take the caliper or the disc or the through axle are all machined nice and flat the bonded in lugs where you mount the calipers are all straight they're, they're not slightly off so it's trying to push the caliper sideways all of those things the wheel the hub in the wheel needs to be made correctly because we've seen on cam nichols one of the mechanics he had on the show was showing that how the 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 hub hadn't been made probably i think it was a Novatech from memory and the disc was slightly off and he just could he just couldn't set the brakes up there was just he just said, the wheel's got to go back. It's, it's impossible to get these brakes to work properly. So people who are saying that they do not have problems, I don't know where they get that from. They, there's lots of evidence that disc brakes give problems. I've even had personal people that they, the mechanics, they just, you know what they say? The mechanics go, oh, look, come. They've taken it back two or three times to get it fixed. And the mechanics just go, oh, we can't find anything wrong with the brakes. And I've heard that even with, uh, with, with, other things on bikes but yeah they kind of go nothing wrong of it like you're, you're basically imagining it and uh, be honest you probably heard that too so that's how they need to fix it the bicycle industry is renowned for poor quality and the prices that we're paying it really shouldn't be like that I mean I could understand it on cheaper bikes but when you're paying you know in excess 10,000 US or a top end bike pretty much all of the top end bikes even if it's got Altegra on now like going to be pushing ten thousand dollars us and this sort of poor quality control is really unacceptable and that really is my beef people think i'm anti-disc brakes and i'm anti all sorts of other things no what i'm saying is is that if you're buying a high-end bike this is one of the main reasons why you you believe you're buying that bike that the that the finish and the quality control is really good. So when you get that bike, it just rolls perfectly smooth. The bearings are seated in so they're not stressed. So they're going to work absolutely to the optimum amount. The brakes and the frame and everything are made perfectly. So everything works uh, works appropriately when you lean this way or lean this way. The bike's perfectly centered. So, you know, the way it feels is going to be identical. You're paying for that quality control. But unfortunately... The way the bike industry is, and especially with this subcontracting of works, that is not what we're getting in a lot of cases. Well, anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. What do you think about the bicycle industry and in this, this, these opinions on disc brakes, which I think I've explained why I think disc brakes are a problem. It's not specifically the disc brakes themselves, but it is a problem. And whether it's the hub or the frame or whatever, as an end consumer, we shouldn't have to worry about that. We should get a bike. We've paid for it. We've paid good money. It should all work like a car. You know, if you've got a problem with a car, take it back to the car dealer. They just fix it. You don't care if the thumb parts made by Heller, the lights or whatever. They just fix it because that brand of car that represents what the whole of the components on that bike. Sorry, on the car, yeah. So that's the way it should be, but we're not getting that. So guys, remember to smash, smash, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below because it'd be really appreciated if you're into cycling because they've got lots of cycling content coming. And also, I'll see you next vid.